Hi, it's Mark Sarazano from the International Piano Technician School and HowToTunePianos.com. I would like to share with you how we have been able to use electronic tuning devices to better tune a piano so that the unisons are stable, the unisons are pure, and the unisons are stable. The number one skill that you have to learn to be a good piano tuner. ETDs do not teach that the way they are commonly used. When you use the ETD the way that I'm going to show you, you can immediately get very strong feedback on what your unisons sound like, proving that they are clean and stable. Just watch. Here's the course we're offering. Tuning a piano with piano meter, but you can use this technique on any ETD. Go to howtotunepianos.com, click on courses, scroll down to tuning a piano with piano meter, and watch these free lessons. How we do it differently explains what we do different when we're tuning an ETD that allows us to get more pure unisons and know they're pure, know they're stable, than just tuning a piano with an ETD the old-fashioned way. The common way to use the ETD is to mute two strings of a trichord, play the note, measure the single string so that the ETD says that the pitch of that single string is now at the target pitch that the ETD says is the best for this piano. Then you remove the mutes and tune the unisons and move on. That's the problem. There's no way of knowing for sure if your unisons are clean or not. So we've developed a new way of tuning with an ETD that proves to you that your unisons are clean and stable. The problem is piano technicians often think their unisons are clean when they're not. And it's not that they can't tune clean unisons. It's just that it's difficult to be constantly on for the entire tuning and always really mentally trying to prove to yourself and mentally trying to get those clean unisons for every single note. So tuning with this new way that we've developed allows you another way of getting feedback so that you can catch more of those unisons that pass by you and fix them. And this way is using the double string unison procedure that we've been using for years with oral tuning. But now you can use it with an ETD. This is how it works. Step one, you insert a mute in into one string of the trichord. Step two, tune the two strings that are free to vibrate so that they sound like one string and then measure with the ETD. This is different because traditionally what piano tuners have done, whether tuning by ear or with an ETD, is they will tune the string and adjust and judge at the same time. So they're playing an interval like an octave and they're tuning one note and listening and judging at the same time. Or they're tuning a single string and looking at the needle or the lights and judging at the same time and stopping when the pitch is where they want it. With this method, you don't do that. The first thing you do is you tune two strings so they are a clean unison. So you're starting right off the bat with what is the most important clean unisons. And then you make the judgment. So first we tune the clean double string unison and then we make the judgment. And then based on the judgment, we make very fine changes in pitch by moving one string and then cleaning up the unison again. When we move the one string, we can hear how out of tune it is and then make a judgment about how much we've moved that pitch. It's very accurate, precise. And then you bring the other string in, getting another opportunity to practice tuning a clean unison. And then you judge it again and you keep moving the pitch up or down until the judgment says that the pitch is right. Now here's where the beauty of the ETD comes in. When you measure that pitch with the ETD, you're measuring two strings. They are supposed to sound like one string. If they do sound like one string, the reading of the ETD will be consistent. If that unison, double string unison, is not clean enough and you play the note, measure with the ETD, the ETD's needle starts doing this. So that's one clue that your unison is not clean enough and you can listen to it again and go, oh yeah, I guess it is. The other way that you can get feedback on your unison is by using piano meter. Piano meter has this amazing feature. Let me show it to you. Now let's look what happens when the unison is not clean enough. Look at the readings. And the black squares, which indicate the volume of the partials, are pulsating. That means... You see that? In order to tune a clean unison, you need to have the partials not beating. So the higher partials in the unison must all be still. And that's a definition of a clean unison. But with piano meter, you actually get to see each one of these black bands of squares is a different partial. And you can see down here, and for this particular unison, it's showing the first, second, third, and fourth partial. And so you can see if the partial is beating, the black rings are pulsing. There's beating at that partial. I used Ocean Audio to filter out that partial so you can see that the beating of the partial is matching the beating or the pulsing of that fourth ring. Do you see that? Amazing, amazing. Real-time feedback on unisons and their quality.
This is the way we are using piano meter to tune pianos and confirm that these unisons are actually clean and stable. Because once you do a hard blow, if the unison goes out, those black bands, those black rings with the squares will begin to pulse. Even though it might be a very high partial that you can't hear, but you can see it. And other ETDs have a way of tuning unisons, sort of, where they show different bands for each string and you kind of have to tune the unison so that the bands are lined up. But you understand that this method of tuning a unison short circuits the ear. What you're doing is using your hand and your eye to line up two peaks. This does not prove that your unison is clean. Whereas with piano meter, you're using your eye to look at those pulsing squares and your ear. If you see the pulsing of the square, you can match it up with the pulsing of the specific partial that you're hearing. The ear is not being short-circuited out of the process. This is the big problem with ETDs, that the ear is short-circuited. You're just using your eyes and the lights and your hand, and the ear is like, is invited to participate, but doesn't have to. But with this method, using double string unison and an ETD, the unison has to be clean, or the ETD doesn't work. The needle's bouncing all over the place. So you don't have a choice. You need to tune a clean unison. And the only way you can do that is by making those upper partials beatless. And the piano meter shows you how how to do that. That's why we chose Piano Meter to feature with our ETD course. Not only that, but this ETD course has something very special that no other course has. If you purchase the Tuning a Piano with Piano Meter course, you also get included how to get superior stability. Finally understand the system. How does the tuning pin and the string work together? Know why putting your hammer at 12 o'clock doesn't always work. This is what students have been told. Put your hammer at 12 o'clock, go sharp, ease the pitch flat. And it works sometimes, but we don't know why. We think we know why. I've heard many technicians explain why they think it works, but when it doesn't work, they don't know why. This course explains exactly why. Also, you get this course, How to Tune Superior Unisons. Thinking that your unison is clean does not prove that it is. This course gives you tricks to use, like the single string test. The single string test is a very simple idea that many piano technicians just come up with on their own, but this course shows you what it is and fast tracks your ability to learn this stuff so you don't have to wait around for you to figure it out on your own. And that is a simple idea that a clean unison must sound like a single string. So you compare the single string to the unison. So you mute off two strings and you play the unison and listen. What you're listening to is a single string. Then you take the mute out, play the unison again. Now you're listening to all three strings. Is there any difference in the sound of the single string compared to the sound of the unison? Any difference at all, whatsoever. If there is any difference, if you can hear a difference, the unison is not clean enough. This is a very simple idea that anybody can do. Even a child can tell that a unison is not clean if this sounds different than this. The the other course that is included is the power of double string unisons. That's what we use to tune very high level oral concert tunings, but you can use it to tune with the ETD. And this course explains to you what double string unison is, how it works, and why it's so powerful. And right now, for the rest of the day, at this moment in time, there's only 13 hours left, you can get this course, the ETD course, plus the Stability Unison and Double String Unison course, all for only $7.97. This course is regularly $14.97. This course is regularly $4.97. $4.97, $4.97. That's almost $3,000 in courses that you can get all together for less than $800. To purchase this course, click on the See All Deals, scroll down to the ETD Piano Tuning course, and click the PayPal button. You will immediately get access to all four courses. We are very, very excited about this new way of using the ETD that is guaranteed to get you clean and stable unisons that are the number one element that you need if you want to be a good piano tuner. There's many ways to get good unisons that are stable. This is one of them, and we believe this is the most powerful and effective and efficient way to get those clean, stable unisons as soon as possible. I really hope you take advantage of this deal because after today, it's gone forever. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask.